So hey guys, and welcome to another x 11 premiere. So my time here at Lemnos, here in Altis, has come to an end. And uh, yeah, time for me to go back to the mainland in Athens. And spend a couple of days there before we're returning back to the UK on Sunday midday. So, flying the Q400 again. I've spent a bit more time figuring out the, the basics for it. But um, yeah, this is a good aircraft overall. It's a good aircraft overall. It's made the pilots, that's the issue. The pilots, that's the idiots. But no, let's uh, set the aircraft up and let's get ready for our return flight home. So it's 2,041 kilos of fuel we need. That's looking fine. Uh, set stats. So the fuel truck we now no longer need. Uh, go ahead and get rid of you. So we can now turn on the C belt sign. And at the same time, we can also start up the APU. So it's... Uh, Power, gen, bleed, and start. Make sure I've done that correctly. Also, set the aircraft up actually for the um, start up as well. So the bleeds come off. Sorry, yeah, these will stay off. Uh, these ones go off. And that is mainly that. Uh, generators, make sure those are off as well. Uh, off and off. This is. One comes on, turn on power, these stay off, that's all fine, that's all fine, that's all fine. These two come on, and the uh, static anti icing and all that comes on as well. Right, that looks good. AP starting up, I believe. Uh, should be alright, anyways, let's set the rest up now, so... These two down. There we go. They come to start. Throttle is on idle, so that should be alright as well. So the main bit I now need to do is the FMS. So status database or LGAT. Sorry, LML, LGML. Sorry, Lemnos. That's the um, airport information. Current one Unicom one to two point eight. The uh, tower at Athens has disconnected from the one that we had on Sunday. Sorry, the one we had on Friday. Sorry, but um, yeah, that's it. It's been a little bit. I've learned the aircraft a little more, and so hopefully the return flight should be a little, uh, little less hectic. Let's say, and fingers crossed, some crash on me either. Uh, right, so origin or it's LGLM. Lima Golf Lima Mike. Destination LGAV. Lima Golf Alpha Victor. Company routes won't do. Flight number, we are Olympic Airlines 267. And our flight plan for this, and actually start up all the trackers and whatnot. So, start that sim, starts the uh, project's flight. Right, so it's a very short route again. It's Koros via Golf 33 to. Never. Execute that. Departure. It will be right for left. Don't think we're going to need any departure SIDs. Nope. Straight on to Koros. And then that should get us on our way out. Altitude for today will be at 20,000. So I'll set this up as well. Altitude at 20. Twenty thousand and ninety just has to be that extra bit of awkward, doesn't it? Uh what's this do? Okay, twenty thousand eighty. Maybe just be worth doing that, to be fair. Right, so that's all fine. Uh nav source, make sure this is set to um FMS one as well. And everything else should fit in quite nicely. Yes it has. Right, so let's exit. So we should have the set of barometers. Close the uh, passengers' door since passengers are boarded. LGLM. Connection 1012. That just comes down a slight bit. Whoops, wrong way around. Uh, 1, 2. There we go. Right, 
I mean, everything else looks pretty good. So, set the lighting as required. So, it will be taxi logo lights. Since the uh, we are on the ground. Uh, position lights come on. Red strobes, not just yet. Since we aren't quite uh, ready to go. Everything else is alright. We can do the test caution if we really want to. But, well, yeah, we just did it anyway. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything ready now for the part chart. So, no need for pushback today, since everything is quite nicely uh, stuck around us. Everything can now drive away. Like that GP unit actually moves as well, because that is sitting right in front of us. Quite precarious, actually, there. Otherwise, yeah, 20.05, departs at 10 past, so making good time right now. And flight time 2... Athens shouldn't be any more than a uh, half an hour, really. It's a bit quicker and back to Athens, and then it's going outbound. Like no real wind systems or anything here, although winds are fairly calm, so you at lower altitude. So let's now start with the engine startup. So leave those to norm. Start up two. Make sure that's all set as required, and starts. Keep it on the panel, make sure I've done this correctly. Because uh, startups a bit always fear in set crafts. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In this instance, I believe it has. Yes, it has. Engine 2 has started. Flick it over to 1 and start. Left hand side. So I'll probably be sitting on the right hand side actually for this return flight. So I would like to try and get another view of um, Stratus on the way back, being the uh, other Armour Islands that I'm interested in. But no, uh, it's a bit of a shame actually this trip come to an end, because it has been a good few days. It has been a good few days in the uh, the Greece of 30 years ago. There you go, repeller has now uh, come into life, so aircraft's pretty much ready to go. The ground spies have uh, started up, so it's a taxi now. FS is looking good, arrow's pointing in the right direction. FMS sorted, comm set to 2.8, we are scoring 10,000, which is the uh, not communicating standard for GA, at least in the UK. Uh, right, so that's all on now, speeds come on, uh, generators 1, 2 can't stay on, uh, what else needs to come on, it's the other bleeds as well, these ones, packs come on and on, generators 1 and 2 on, uh, generation lead air power off power sets. That's APU now coming off, and the startup switch as well can just go to uh, inactive, off and off. Right, so that's the Q400 now set up, ready to go. Uh, quick bit of water I can find my bottle. There it is. Time break set, uh, anti ice fail, and generation generators are currently. Generators are on, probably just take a few seconds to come on, and use intakes to come off, that comes off. Tire lights come on, and Lima, Golf Lima mic, traffic, taxiing, runway 04. Right. Time break released. There you go, the ground vehicles will now disappear. And we mark our way down to the runway. No, can't move just yet because I've realised I haven't actually done the uh, throttle thing. Like I say, it's a bit awkward, but it has to be done. So we'll set axis three to prop. Give it a wiggle. Back to axis three, remove it, and set up. I should get a proper setup for prop at some point, but uh, it'll do us for now. Anyways, let's put the throttle in and let's get to the runway, ready for our return of flights. Go to co pilot seat just for the sake of the um, left hand turns.
Right, so entering the main taxiway now, it'll be a left hand turn, followed by another right, down to the end of the runway, where we'll then get our clearance for departure. Well, in this case, now it's our intention to depart, since we don't have any other um, comms to deal with in Unicom. Athens Airport should also be slightly quieter. We've actually will set departure, chorus departure. This is a, a very nice tight turn at the end of the runway. Maybe we could have done without that departure, but it shouldn't matter anyway. Uh, actually, no, that's not a bad departure, actually. It just means we're going up over the airport again. Speaking of which, let's turn on the uh, your dampener and let's set up the climb. So, vertical speed set. And what did we go for last time, which actually worked out quite nicely? I think it was about 3,000, wasn't it, for the initial bit? It was 2,800 used last time, so I'll set that up again. And once we are ready to go, we'll be on our way. So we're actually on the right-hand side of runway now. This is a runway, it looks like a taxiway, but used a lot more by the military aircraft. Also, back in the old days, the airport back before this one was constructed, so it should speed up a little bit more on this one, but not too much. So, cut to the end of the runway now. And hopefully, the uh, nighttime departure of Lemnos should actually be, uh, again, a pretty sightly one. Plenty to look at the night lighting of the city, the entire island, but again, a lot of uh, non populated areas as well, so that we do need to look into. Now go through the uh, threshold of the runway taxiway. Then we make a left turn in just a little bit. A bit more frosty actually just to speed it up. And so it's a bit patchy here. Actually not patchy, more just a bit bumpy actually. A few more hills and whatnot. Okay, not too far to go now. There's a few uh, military hangars just sitting there at the end of the runway. Now you're entering zero for right. Don't know if we marked that hold short points. So I'll try and keep an eye out for that when I do make the um, turn. Oh gosh, it's a very, very tight turn. This aircraft does not like tight turns. <sighs> Q400, what a weird, weird plane. Anyways, landing lights come on, taxi lights come off. Should be a little bit brighter now as we try and make our way back to the runway. I'm sure this thing's a little more agile than real life, I will say. It's not even to do with the uh, sensitivity of this. It's just the front landing gear it does not like uh, steering. I mean, this is... Not easy, right? Uh, oops, that's reverse thrust. Departing runway zero right zero four right. Oh, GLM. Cool. Everything's set for departure. Throttle goes up. All looks good. Full throttle. Not too much to look at from the uh, window side, at least. Mm. 
V1, rotate. Positive right, gear up. Start trimming the aircraft to make this take off a little more stable. There we go. Keep the uh, prop drift from causing the aircraft to turn too much to the left. Moving on to autopilot, nav, and vertical speeds. On the uh, throttle, much sorry, keep on the SB, much that we are climbing. Don't think we are, so we'll, uh, sorry, in case of that we are increasing speeds, which I don't think we are, so let me just uh, lower the nose a bit. So there we go. Then on to departure, the yeah, aircraft will now make a left hand turn and continue with the way out. Yeah, pretty much perfect. If it is this much, uh, I don't know, actually there's a bit of light going on the left hand side, something to look at. <laughs> Not through this in either actually. There's left hand turn, put via the ground, whatever is below. But no, right now in the cockpit, my more important part is just to uh, steer the aircraft out of the airspace Lemnos. You also must remember that we need to do an early d descent into Athens, since this is the uh, more in more busier airport. We need to make sure we land that properly. Yeah, the airspace around Athens seems fairly quiet now, so that was also got on our side, like I say. Very beautiful. This. There's the airport just to our left now. I do actually need to turn off the logo light technically, since that is uh, the same as the taxi lights. So I'll go switch to that one off now. There you go. Tail logo now comes off. Because from the air, no one's really going to look at the uh, logo of the airplane. There's no point to it. So the only purpose of it is when you're on the ground. It's kind of like. One, advertise your airline, but more importantly two, it means that air traffic control kind of visualise where you are on the ground. Because if you're looking out for an Olympic Airlines, then you're going to keep an eye out for the uh, Olympic logo, the um, five rings, on the to have the aircraft. Yeah, they do serve a purpose, the logo lights, not just to advertise your aircraft, that's more of a secondary kind of thing. <laughs> or if you're uh, Norwegian Airlines, to showcase the uh, face you want on the tail. Being air traffic controller, keep an eye out for that. A random face glowing in the dark, <laughs> floating down the airports. Right, so now to our first leg, leaving the um, SIDS. Once you're heading towards, yeah, heading towards Chorus now. Delta 193 uniform. Even behind. Right, let's lower the center right, the climb right a bit, since we are definitely. Uh, not struggling, but not quite making it as high as we should be doing right now. Speed's a little low as well. Right, pass through 9,500. Make sure it'll send the barometer. Whoops. That was me trying to message uh, Gunner earlier just to figure out what's going on with my setup right now. Because my microphone is completely blocked on Vassim right now. Probably just require a bit of a restart or something to figure out what's going on. Alright, 10,000. Uh, landing lights are off and off. And there we go. Sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the flights. Yeah, sitting right hand side I think will actually be a more beneficial seat. So when it comes to seat booking the... Uh, and flight, I'll be sure to bear that one in mind. So, my plan's in Athens at the moment. I mean, I don't really have too much going. I mean, my father tells me to go for the, uh, well, certainly go for the 20 euro 
guided tour of the Acropolis, which is something I'll definitely go for, to be fair. I mean, the Acropolis is a lot of history with the um, early civilization. Basically, to start the modern world. And, um... Well, yeah, he says, go for the guided tour. Look for a, either a young lady full of enthusiasm or an old grouchy person who's uh, full of the um, history, full of knowledge. And then on the Friday, I'm going to nearby... Uh, what is it? Uh, near Maki. Sorry, near Macri. Or near Mikri, whatever it is. I'll have to double check. Um, but yeah, there's still a few scuba diving things out there. And so, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a bit of scuba diving while I'm out in France. I've never done it. Out in Greece, sorry, not France. Oh, uh, yeah, I've never done it before. I've always wanted to. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, it's um, snorkeling. Sorry, not scuba diving. I've always wanted to do a bit of um, snorkeling, but scuba diving seems to be pretty cool as well. Not quite as difficult either. And, um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. That's a 40-minute boat ride. So actually, the main reason I went for snorkeling rather than scuba diving is so you get... For it's a lot cheaper, and you get a lot more time as well. So, scuba diving, the place I was doing, was uh, two hours plus a lot of time in their own centre for something like 70, 80 quid. Or scuba diving, it was four hours for only 30. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go for this longer one. It's a 20 minute boat ride on an inflatable boat, so that'll certainly be a bit of fun. And then I'll be sure to uh, enjoy a bit of swimming to that as well, so... A lot going on, a lot going on when I go to uh, Greece, that's for sure. And then I'll return on Sunday back to the UK, where it's life is normal. And then uh, just focus on uh, work, really. And then it's a trip to Venice next month, so I was going to take a break from travel after this one, but my mum's convinced me to go to Venice with her. So we're going to spend a day in Venice, and then I'm taking the break, because I really need to save up for a few things. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully for this plan, come December, I'll spend two weeks in Finland. So yeah, Finland, like I say, two weeks will certainly be a trip for me to uh, get myself ready for as well. I mean, I certainly enjoyed it last time I went there, minus the uh, missing passport saga, but there meet a few cool people out there as well as a result of staying there a couple extra days, can't lie. But, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a great country, Finland, it really is. The people there are very hospit hospitable, hospitalitable, <laughs> I don't know the word, but, um, yeah, it's certainly a country that I will very much uh, be returning to. So the island of Stratus, Aegis of Stratios, should be to my right hand side. Uh, you can just about see one light actually from it. One light. That's a, no, that's a boat, is it? Okay, guess not then. Uh, yeah, Aegis of Stratios, Stratus, should just be to my left hand side. I'll show you the desktop. No idea what that was all about. We've got no warning lights, so... Oh, wait. Oh, cabin pressure. Uh, did we not pressurise the cabin? Oh, okay. Maybe not, then. Uh, we'll ignore that anyway. Passengers will suffocate, but they can survive. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? Um, yes, so... Aegis is Strasios, just my right-hand side. In fact, we're very much in line with that island right now, so... I mean, maybe some of those lights down below are part of the island. But regardless, we've got that. And then, yeah, that's it. Coming to Athens, traffic's not quite as bad anymore. It's from my 03 left aircraft coming to land that, so... We'll be sure to set that up as well in a couple of minutes as well. Let's set the aircraft up now, so it's a never approach. Uh, zero three left ILS. I should just go for a VDM. VDM on a never. Invalid entry. Okay. Right. I have uh, no idea what to do. Yeah, it should be all right. Never approach, but 
Obviously, something's not happy. What's this? Uh, yeah, as long as the traffic's clear in Athens, then we can easily try and uh, squeeze in somewhere. Which means a bit more of a right angle approach, more of an acute final turn. Well, nothing so he's taking it manually for the last leg as well, just for the sake of uh, getting the aircraft down. As I say, I'm not quite the uh, pro Q400 pilots. I just know the basics getting it up and going. But I'm sure I turned the bleeds on. I'm certain I did that, but obviously not. It shows what I know, basically. Speaking of which, did I actually ever turn on the uh, anti-collision lights? I'm sure I did. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Hang on, let me just get the, the leg lights on. I don't think there's any main lights yet. So position ones came on for sure. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense now. Let me tell you, I certainly can't wait for um, V2 to come out for the uh, Key 400. I'm sure it'll make uh, a lot more sense than it is right now. We have actually passed 20,000 feet as well. I'm not sure why I didn't warn me for that one either. Put a bit of a descent on. Give it time to speed the aircraft up as well. And then just uh, hold altitude when we do get to 20,000. Okay, make a bit more, uh, a bit more of the speed now. In fact, we'll probably start lowering the throttle slightly a little bit as well. Just to manage that. That's for our position. No, don't on this screen. I want this one. Uh, top of the sense. Give it a few more minutes. And then we start a shallow descent into uh, Athens. I mean, yes, and light landing, so all the fun. Right, slow the throttle now. Right, so come to our next waypoint now. So come off of, of Koros towards um, Amici. There we go. And after that, we never ask. We make a left, sorry, a right hand turn. Never ask, which will then take us close to the airports. And hopefully by Charlie Delta 03 Lima, sorry, 03 left, we'll then be able to uh, work out a landing. I don't think I've actually been to the uh, left runway just yet. Zero three left, two four right. I think it's a runway that's actually avoided me um, for the most part now. So first time landing on that, I have to cross the bridge. Should be interesting. All right, one thousand to go. Yeah, so certainly had the alarm this time. So 
it gets 20,000, I'll get off um, Basil Speed, which is at it's, uh, zero, basically. Speeding up as well, actually. Yeah, 20,500. 20,400. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, 20,300. Twenty thousand two hundred, twenty thousand one hundred, and stop descending. Perfect. Uh, see what sign that's fine. Let's continue, shall we? In fact, yeah, we're now low enough actually for the um, cabin to repressurize again. In fact, that the flight crew behind us is talking shows that someone has survived the uh, depressurization. We're not completely ruined just yet. Yeah, like I say, more of a cockpit in familiarity. The more I fly, the more I get used to the cockpit, the more I get used to the plane, the more fun it really becomes, actually. I mean, it certainly is a interesting plane of choice. A lot of people do prefer the um, ATRs, but the Q400s, a lot of airlines go for them. Despite the fact that they are completely rubbish, it's just the fact that they are cheap, basically. You can just uh, buy hundreds at a time and hope for the best. I don't think Bombardier actually crazy anymore, no. I mean, they sold the C-Series off to Airbus, they cancelled the uh, CRJs and the Q400s, I believe, are actually going as well, so... I don't think they're under production anymore. Uh, hey Google, does Bombardier still produce the Q400? According to Wikipedia, in the C-Series, the Q400 is Well, that was useless. Um, right, anyways, we'll start sending shortly, like I say. That tells us nothing about the Q400s, just a C series deal that we all know about. So how close should I be to the airport to we start descent? How many minutes away? Because uh, like I know from last time when I flew to Lemnos, it turns out the aircraft actually got quite a decent descent rate actually, especially when you idle the throttle. So we'll give it a few more minutes until we go down. Again, we're on Unicom, so no need to announce it. So we will announce it, no need to uh, request it really. There you go, it's near Macri I'm going to go uh, scoop that thing from, and then we're going to take the boat down Marathon Bay. We're going to uh, find a nice area for that. Speed-wise, we're very much on the limits of over speed right now, so I'll be happy to accept that. <sighs> Next plane's frozen again. Oh no, there you go, it's released it. It's no crashing. Fingers crossed, please don't crash on me.
yes, when the uh, right hand turn comes into view for my uh, actual approach into Athens, then I think I actually made start the descent. Make my uh, approach in nice and simple. And it's 44 miles, you'll be at 3,000. And then we get to never points, so that's when the actual turn starts. So, like I said, it'll be around then we'll go. I've always got the uh, manual control as well, just to get a little bit more distance in. Kind of create our own never approach as well. Because I don't get why it's telling me that uh, arrival would be incorrect. Again, valid entry. Especially when runway 03 is the runway that we do need to be going on to. How peculiar. I'll one day do a proper overview and rundown of the uh, D5 MC here. Like I say, it's not too dissimilar from the 737, but built enough so that it can be universal for any single any type of aircraft that uh, you want to fit into. While well, I'm at it, still worth a check at uh, Athens. Uh, 1014, few clouds of 2500, otherwise, winds 9 knots, visibility clear. Without weather being any issue for us, okay, times twenty thirty seven. Uh, distance is eighteen miles. Uh, yeah, we're well, actually now doing our descent. At least think about it. Uh, three hundred thirty two knots ground speeds, nineteen thousand feet, twenty thousand feet, which is bobbling around a little bit, but nothing too major. Headings fairly average, one nine five, one nine four. So it's quarter two, I'm expected to land that. Quarter two. Okay, must remember that I'm only at 20,000, as opposed to like normal like 30 to 40,000 feet cruises. So it does mean that my lower altitude and high descent rates that I can do, probably don't send it again too early, so I'm just going to spend so much time on low ground. Especially as when we come in over Karistos. Basically a massive mountain, which I need to uh, avoid in the pitch black darkness tonight. So, that's why I kind of want to clear that first as well, before I um, do our main bit of descent. But like I say, it's been a good flight so far. Nothing to worry about really. There comes the right hand turn I was talking about. So it's lower altitude to about 3000 and start something nice and slow down. So we'll go 1000 feet per minute. And that means that we should take us 20 minutes to descend. Uh, descending, flight level 200. Um, expect. Runway zero three left El Gav. So lower the uh, throttle just to stop the aircraft from over speeding. So slows us down, kind of prolongs the flight for the descent. go. We make a right turn very shortly, which puts into an awkward but familiar position for the runway. So what we'll do is make a right line that goes slightly away from this. So when we do get close enough to the runway at Athens, I can kind of uh, go around it. There's a run where we'll be one of the first things we'll be able to spot since it's uh, just to the south of the actual main city of Athens, uh, Athens Airport. Athens, oh gosh, how am I going to pronounce this one? Athens, 
Eltherios, Venezelos International, Eletherios, Ven Eletherios Venezelos, Athens, Eletherios, Venezelos International. It's not too difficult, it's a bit of just of a bit of a mouthful that. Right, they're 18,000. What's this? Uh, oh yeah, a few waypoints coming to view actually now. Yeah, that's uh, Karistos down below, the lights you can see. I will actually increase my descent right now slightly because we are coming in quite close. That's 2,500. And so now the throttle, since we are again gaining speed for this. You see a flight path coming in, probably for the go around, just cutting across now, which means I am very close to the airport, I should be careful about that. She's just idle throttle now. Now, my flight plans, I actually set my uh, Return LGKL uh, squawk box and flight plan. Alternative is LGKL. Make sure that properly. Okay, so I do need to divide that, but again, very likely, don't think I'll need to do any of that. Yeah, a few lights now in the distance. None of those at the airport, I believe. But uh, just outskirts of Athens and all that. Yeah, that'll be um, Artemis, which is just on the coast. I'm into view now. Artemis. I count 10,000 now. Landing lights set and set if we can find it. There we go. And uh, descent rates shallow it slightly just so we can actually uh, make it below 250. Just realised that if I'm going to make this approach work, which means we head to the south slightly. Although not just yet. Because the runway uh, zero. 
three, that is... Uh, so if I set the headings about there... Get on the points. And now we fly parallel to the runway. Making a right hand turn and coming into land. So slight difference to my left hand turn plan. But should be the uh, same results nevertheless. Right, fast seat belt sign that's on. And we're oh yeah, on. So it's off down. Oh yes, because the key 400 is the only aircrafts where you need to have the switch in the fourth position to be on. Not off like every other aircraft ever built. That's on. Like I say, it's not a very popular aircraft Q400 from pilots. And I just go for it because it's cheap. Right, there's the airport to my right. So what I will do now is break away from the uh, heading. And use this time to set up the flaps so the speed and get into a slightly better position for the approach. Rather than making some really awkward 90 degree turn. Doesn't seem to be that harsh actually. Alright, coming through the cloud layer now. Yes, stop the sending. Let's slide make our way down as well. Keep on the airspeeds. So we should be around 140 for landing. In fact, it's a little slow than that, 120 even. Yeah, so we're going to bounce around 2500s. Although we could make the right hand turn now and start our base approach in. So, go on down fields. The left. Yeah, zero three left. I want so cutting across the live runway. Something no one you should ever do. <laughs> Let me put a disclaimer for that out. Do not ever cross the live runway, especially on that sim. And is our supervisor still there? Oh gosh. Okay, I'm a bit too slow. Also pilot back on again with uh, heading and altitude sets. Slap on the wrist for that. Gear down.
the final right turn very shortly after on final Elgav runway 03 left or hard that's ready for our actual final Get the right turn now and then we'll stick it into manual Gear is down, that was already been set. Yep, three greens. Let's uh, disconnect autopilot. And let's just now guide this one in manually. As always, it's a far from great approach. In fact, I can't even see the airport anymore. Just a bit of these drops down. As long as I'm controlling the throttle and the navigation. There we go, runway's in view now. Let's drop down a little bit and let's get ourselves onto a landing. 2500. So, all looking good right now. Let's try and get a few reds in. I can actually see one red already. My approach technique is also very unique for most airports. Remember, Q400 does not have steep approach capabilities. But there we go, coming in quite normally now. So, landing on this runway, we do need to cross the bridge over to the main uh, gates area. A little bit of throttling just to make sure we don't store this one. Unlike landing at Lemnos, also got to make sure that I'm not going to uh, reverse thrust in the air. That was a heavy one. Yeah, that was a heavy landing. I won't deny that. Three, three, three. Ouch. Alright, coming in. Reverse thrust cuts. And exit at the uh, next turning point. Yeah, I will say my flare could have been a lot better for this one. I certainly did not do enough for that. Yeah, the wing spires have extended at least. So we'll leave the runway. And make our way to the gates. Uh, that's fine. Now figure out the uh, way to the bridge to cross over. Let's turn on the APU. So that is where is it? There. Now I can see the bridge. So it's a right turn, another right turn, and then a left. Okay, it's not too difficult to navigate. So on landing lights, tax light uh, flaps are up. APU starting up. Make sure there's no oncoming traffic, which there is not. So over the motorway we go.
And in this case, it's uh, through the motorway, actually. I mean, it's this taxiway, so we're going to have to take it or leave it. Woo! Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's what am I doing, I guess. There's a bridge. Anyways, let's uh, continue across, and then we're parking in the Bravo stands, Bravo 50 to 67, which is to our left. Uh, when I flew here on Friday night, I believe I went from, well, at least when I streamed this, when I did the premiere, I was from Bra uh, Bravo 57. So if I go for maybe the same stands, just for continuity, we'll give that a go. Yeah, those bridges would have had the two more touchdown rates there. Yeah, pass all the big jets. And then it's on the uh, left hand side for me. But they're not a bad flight overall, like I say. My descent was uh, a little more managed, albeit the stall, although we can always ignore the stall. Uh, in fact, did the smart cars program detect it? Uh... Oh, yeah, it did actually detect the stall. Uh, stall recovered off a minimum speed of 102 knots, so that means I have lost a few points there. Because if the sim knows I stalled, then. Yeah, no getting out of that, I'm afraid. Hopefully I didn't lose too many points on my second ever virtual agent flight. Now, I'm definitely going to stream a few more of these um, Q400 flights, actually. I'm going to do one of these uh, island ops streams around the uh, Greek islands. Just for the fact that it is a bit of fun, this. It really is. A lot of challenging behind it as well, but... It's certainly something to... Uh, keep going. It's a bit different from the usual 737-800 Ryanairs as well. Like I say, agents on I fly too often. Like I said, the only reason I'm going with them, or at least in this case Olympic, is because I'm flying to Greece and going to one of the islands. But for the most part, it really is uh, a bit different to the usual. So I do expect a few more Q400 streams to uh, pop in and out as time goes on. Those are Delta Parks to my left. I think it's a little more open, and it's in this open area. But I want to look for a stand. Uh, what are these ones? These are Charlie's. Delta 7 to the right. Juliet, Charlie up ahead. There goes his remote stands I need. It's the bus we need to call. As the bus is the uh, main way to get in and out of those areas. So, I'm presuming it's these didn't go quite as far as that building. Yeah, there's a few private jets here as well. Those were nearby. 51. Yeah, this seems like the right place. 53. 55. And the next one is where I want. Bravo 
Alright, let's get into position. We've got a ground marshal there as well, though he's not going to move. Stop. Engines off. And there you have it. Tax lights off. Uh, what's that? Engine oil pressure is fine. Uh, flick that and flick that. And there you have it. Uh, packs come off. Uh, please come off as well. That's fine. That's all good. That's all good. APU will be running. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Right, see that sign can now come on. Sorry, come off, sorry. That should be facing down. Yes, it is. And the ground services, ground handling, show control. So the GPU, put that, and no need for fuel trucks. This will be the last fight of the day. But you do need the uh, bus to come up. And then once the bus is parked up, we'll then open the doors and let the passengers off. A little far forward, but not a catastrophe. Bus won't hit the lights, thank goodness for that. Bus doors open. And the passengers may now be bored. Right, so that was probably just a bing to let me know that the exit is open. So I'll just quickly clear those again. Uh, what was the actual light set up there? Uh, hydraulics, generators, ice, the ice. Oh no, okay, maybe there's no light for the um, doors. Oh yeah, these large doors. There is the lights. So, uh, with that basically sorted, the aircraft now go to a cold and dark state. It should just be that. It's GP now running the power. Generators can come off. External power come off later but yeah get that on and yeah at this point the aircraft is now running on APU so if we shut that off there we go it will now die on itself ready for us also to board the aircraft also board the bus and make our way to the uh, terminal so let's quickly uh, end all the flights from everything so projects flight will complete that one Uh, what landing race did you actually pick up? Uh, two landing events. It was a 238 and a 336 you picked up. In fact, that was a positive. I think it's actually now thrown my average landing rates to, yeah, an NA. So, whoops. Anyways, we'll let that close in the background. Uh, we'll also finish off the virtual agent. Finish that. No bids, that means that's successfully passed. And as for me, the squad box can also now disconnect. Quickly close the exit. And let's have a look at the uh, landing from passenger views. So a little close up, so after landing. Ooh, okay. <laughs> a bit of spoilers for that was, but uh, it didn't look good, that's for sure. So left hand side, looking down at the uh, city. Yes, ouch is the uh, right word for that. So I see one a nice landing to uh, get a feel of, that's for sure. Right, left hand side, so this is looking out the motorway and the roads below. It's got the uh, landing gear struts, kind of a uh, shadow in existence. Ugh. Just 
Stop with the alarms, please. Hopefully V2, Geek Fudge, like I say, also won't have the uh, same issue with the alarms. Be a little calmer than this. Anyways, entering the airport boundary now. There's the last road. Should now be entering the uh, runway threshold shortly as well. There we go. Who knows that you're looking at much outside and a few lights shooting across really at high speed. Can't really see that too well, but uh certainly was not expecting that landing. Like I say, it's the more painful one from the uh, outside. Not sure we're all more interested in seeing. Squeeze science the alarms, and then watch the uh, landing from out here. So it's this one and that one I need to shile up. Yeah, nice and steep, nice and nose divey. Just the way I like it. Said no one ever. Man, that actually really is a steep descent. Anyways, coming down now to the motorways. We do kind of uh, level things off as well slightly. There we go. And other than that, the approach itself is looking. Fairly stable, it's just the sense, the altitude that I'm not quite managing as well. Down through the last thousand. And the lights now affecting the ground. Yeah, from my uh, zero through right. So that's a bit more forward than 0 3 left. I was probably expecting the distance of that one to be fair, but regardless, could have always done a little bit more of an extended away from the airport as well before coming back in. So that's always something to keep an eye out for later. Otherwise, now entering the uh, runway area. And it's the, uh, the lack of flare that really comes to view here. Welcome to Athens, and bang. So we drop it last second as well, actually. But I attempt to flare, but rather than actually going up, I just push the aircraft down. It's kind of odd, that, actually. Kind of fortunate we didn't bounce there. Anyways, so we have touched down, and we then slowly roll to the uh, exit point very shortly. So, that was the uh, very fun approach into... Uh, Athens that. So right now I'll be uh, well, on the bus going through security. Now I need to make my way to the terminal and then actually take a train to the city centre before catching or at least getting to myself to the hotel I'm staying at. So I'll be here till Sunday and as I say tomorrow I'll probably do a tour of the Acropolis and all that. And then Friday scuba diving. Saturday I'm not sure what I'll do just yet. I'll probably plan something out. For Sunday, spending the morning doing something before getting to the airport for a midday flight back to London. So, do stick around for that. It's premiere on Sunday. I'll leave a tag in the top right corner for that. If you're interested in more of what I'm doing out in uh, Athens, then also check out my second channel as well, Europe Overload. Tag in that in the top right corner as well, which um, shows more of my real world vlogs and these European travels. But um, other than those two, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, thank you very much for watching, leave a like if you did, do subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the very near future. Good night.